हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू एविएशन ए टू जेड टूडे वी विल सी ऑल द डिटेल्स पोस्टेड बाई नेशनल एरोस्पेस लेबोरेटरीज एन ए एल फॉर फोर जॉब पोजिशन एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली अ गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी इन सच डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन एज राइज इन कोविड नाइन्टीन हैज अगेन इम्पैक्टेड अवर नेशन एंड होल्ड वर्ल्ड सो वॉज दिस वीडियो टिल एंड टू नो ईच एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट इट सो लेट इज गेट स्टार्ट But before we start here's a short summary on CSIR NAL that is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR and NAL National Aerospace Laboratories located at HAL Airport Bangalore India NAL is a premier research laboratory under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR In addition to many research development and technology program in aerospace CSIR NL is actively involved in supporting the national aerospace programs of ADA DRDO ISRO HAL and IAF Further CSIR NL has a strong program in civil aviation including the nationally important project of design and development of a multi-role light transport aircraft SARS CSIR NL is also exploiting several aerospace technologies into spin-off industrial application. It has excellent facilities in all the aerospace disciplines. NAL is looking for bright and highly motivated technical staff to participate in this task of aerospace research and development, technology development and related applications. First of all, we will see all the details about all four positions and later we will see benefits, age limit and relaxations, some general information and finally selection procedure regarding job posting so if you are new to our channel then please subscribe it now to never miss such opportunity the first position is of technical assistant which has 19 post that is openings age limit is 28 years and some reservation as it is government organization Minimum pay is thirty five thousand four hundred per month, while gross annuitant is forty nine thousand approximately. Now let us see who can apply for this position. Mechanical engineer has four posts, and you can pause this video to read all the educational qualification. Then we have electrical, electronic, and communication engineering three posts. Then electronics and instrumentation engineering three posts. Civil engineering two posts, and like that metallurgy, metallurgical engineering two posts. a diploma or bsc in computer science two post then also we have hotel management one post all right you might be thinking where are job posting for aviation or ame field person so here it is bsc in aircraft maintenance two post educational qualification you can read it out first class bsc in aircraft maintenance or equivalent with one year full time professional qualification talking about experience you must have dgc ame license category b1 on light aircraft or piston engine or having dgc ame license on b2 electrical system instrument system and working experience is must on crm or cr145 approved organization talking about job requirement you should be able to work in civil aircraft projects now if you have done ame course then write to them whether you can apply or not if they permit then apply immediately remember this thing because this is an golden opportunity if you get this job then it's you are lucky moving ahead we have second position technical officer for this we have one post only and age limit is 30 years base pay is 44900 and maximum is 67000 approximately so btech or be holder can apply for this position then we have senior technical officer one for it we have two position one is reserved for obc and one for ur and 56000 is a pay and those who are eligible can see here can apply for this position now finally senior technical officer 2 we have four position and age limit is 40 years minimum pay is 67700 per month and gross emulants is 1 lakh for more details please visit a to z blog dot in and click on relevant post also to apply for this and many other positions visit a to z blog dot in and click on relevant post and apply immediately all right now let us see benefits you will get here while working the first benefit is 
usual allowance that is dns allowance house rent allowance transport allowance etc in addition to the ambulance indicated against each category of post benefits such as reimbursement of medical expenses leave travel concession and house building advance are available all technical assistant technical officer senior technical officer are entitled for career advancement on the basis of flexible complementary scheme and you will get the pension as per new pension scheme mentioned by central government services all right so you pause this video and read it or you can take this screenshot it's better option now let us see the age limit and relaxation so we cannot uh, show you the complete so for complete details visit our a to z blog dot in post now let us see some general conditions here positions are open only to indian national or overseas citizens of india the appointment will be in csir national aerospace laboratories bangalore under the csir which is an autonomous body under the ministry of science and technology however the appointees are liable to be posted in any of the labs so it's not like you will be posted in bangalore and the non refundable application fee of 100 rupees should be payable and candidates applying for more than one position should submit separate online application remember this not all together the period of experience in a discipline area of work so it's all about experience requirement and once again in respect of equivalent close in educational qualification that is if you are having that it's not like you you have done this course and you, it's not mandatory that you should follow all the strict line then you should write to them about it and if any document or certificate is furnished in other language then you can have a notary of it so go through all the points and advance copy of for online electronic application form and all certificates should be submitted before closing date and for further details you can go through our website and check out our post before applying it now finally let us see selection procedure selection procedure has two stages first skill test and second competitive written examination and if you clear your skill test then you will be eligible for written test and after giving that final merit list will be published at official website once again for complete details read the pdf provided at a to z blog dot in so what are you waiting for apply before 21st may 2021 and avail the job at csir nal that was all for today i hope you found this video helpful so please share this video with your friends and aviation and non aviation related people to aware them about such vacancies finally thanks for watching see you soon till then keep learning keep watching keep preparing stay safe jai hind